hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to resume our discussion on uh, sensors and transducers so it's been a while since I have posted a video related to sensors and transducers so in the next series of videos we'll be discussing about uh, some sensors and transducers their construction design working principle application so let's get started so friends in this video we are going to discuss about uh, a temperature sensor okay and the particular temperature sensor which we are going to discuss is called as a bimetallic element so as the name suggests okay bimetallic element this uh, device or this instrument it consists of two metals combined together okay so this bimetallic element it is uh, a very uh, you know widely used uh, temperature sensor which is used in industrial applications so this bimetallic strip it consists of two different metals okay two different metals of varying thickness and they are joined together and they have different coefficients of thermal expansion okay basically linear expansion so if you remember uh, uh, if you remember the basic concepts which we have studied in college related to thermo uh, th thermodynamics or thermal properties of matter when you know a solid body is heated there are three different ways in which it can expand in one dimension which is the coefficient of linear expansion in two dimension which is uh, expressed as the coefficient of surface expansion and in three dimension which is called as the volume expansion which is the coefficient of volume expansion alpha beta gamma so that property is uh, utilized here two different metals of different thickness t1 and t2 two different coefficient of uh, linear expansion alpha 1 alpha 2 they are combined together they are bonded or welded together so as to form a single piece okay two different metals but they are welded together to form a single piece now this is the initial position okay this is the initial position and this is the length the original length of this bimetallic element now when it has to uh, measure at the temperature at any uh, particular point or any place it is exposed to that particular place okay and here because of the different coefficient of thermal expansion when it is exposed to a certain temperature it starts curling or bending because of different coefficient of thermal expansion so here what happens is that the layer with higher coefficient higher coefficient of thermal expansion that is called as the active side alpha 1 and the other with lower coefficient of thermal expansion it is called as the passive side so it bends from active to passive side forming an angle phi okay because of the temperature change now it is this angle which is very important for us to establish a relationship between this uh, angular movement or this angular deflection and temperature change okay so this is the whole principle of bimetallic element so what happens is that originally one end is kept fixed then it is uh, you know brought in contact with the surface of the body or any place where the temperature is to be measured then because of the different coefficient of thermal expansion the body starts bending or curling 
from active in the direction of the passive side the element now this forms an angle phi now here what we can do is that suppose we connect any displacement transducer here it can be a potentiometer it can be a LVDT it can be a Borden tube uh, pressure gauge whatever uh, we can do to convert this angular movement into linear displacement or anything like that uh, so other secondary transducers can also be connected so this angular movement has to be converted into some kind of an electrical signal so basically secondary transducers which give a voltage or current output such as potentiometer LVDT they are used further signal conditioning uh, circuitry is also used for amplification filtering which we have already discussed basic measurement system so this is the initial the first stage now the next important thing is to establish a relationship between this angle phi and the temperature change that is expressed by this mathematical equation now it's a bit complicated so here uh, the angle phi is given by 6 E1 E2 T1 T2 T1 plus T2 alpha 1 minus alpha 2 divided by 4 E1 E2 T1 T2 T1 plus T2 whole square plus E1 T1 square minus E2 T2 square L delta T so here these uh, you know, notations they are these values E1 and E2 are the Young's modulus for the metal strips 1 and 2 okay Young's modulus which gives us a measure of the stiffness of a particular you know metal or any material we have already discussed it in material science and engineering in detail various things you can go and check that thing so Young's modulus is the ratio between stress and strain applied stress and the resultant strain produced so E1 and E2 are the Young's modulus for layers 1 and 2 then T1 and T2 are the thickness of the two metal strips they are different then alpha 1 and alpha 2 coefficient of linear expansion for metal 1 and metal 2 then capital L is the original length of the combined metal two metal piece okay the original length capital L and delta T is the temperature fluctuation the temperature change final and initial temperature that difference so here this whole thing this whole complicated uh, thing can be written as KT where KT is the bimetallic element sensitivity and simply we can write it as phi is equal to KT L delta T so if you want to ignore this ignore just replace it with KT KT L delta T so here this angle the angle the bending angle or the curling angle is directly proportional to the temperature change or the temperature fluctuation okay and the original initial length so bimetallic strips they can be uh, formed using different combinations of metals it can be you know uh, iron nickel iron constantin then steel copper steel brass aluminium copper different kinds of combinations can be used it depends on the temperature which has to be measured okay and uh, what range of temperature has to be measured what kind of uh, environment uh, the, the environmental conditions so that particular metal can be used so that it can uh, last a long period of time so there are various uh, other factors that determine what kind of uh, material what kind of metal combination can be used okay so this is just the basic principle of uh, the biometallic temperature sensor okay two metals different coefficient of thermal expansion different thickness welded together when exposed to a temperature you know uh, an environment where uh, temperature has to be measured because of the temperature fluctuation it undergoes bending and this bending angle is related with temperature change 
as per this relationship okay so this is the basic prin principle of uh, biometallic temperature sensor okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much